What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com, back with another SketchUp basic tutorial for you. So um, today we're going to talk about using the follow me tool to create a light bulb in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and first thing I like to do when I'm drawing something like this, um, so actually even before that, so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the follow me tool to extrude a shape in a circle and so what we're gonna have to start off doing is we're going to have to draw the profile of a light bulb so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and I would start off and uh, just create a like a rectangular canvas on here basically it's just a face that you can draw along and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna draw the profile of a light bulb uh, what that means is imagine if you went through and you cut a light bulb in half basically or so if you you just sliced a light bulb along the face right here um, so that you've just got one side of it that's what we're gonna draw so we're gonna go ahead and come in here and we're just gonna draw the basic shape of a light bulb so um, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but just come in here and start drawing your basic shape. Alright, then what we're going to do here is we'll draw this straight up and down. You can draw a little arc right here. Then we'll draw another arc right down here. So you've got the basic shape of a light bulb right here. So the next thing we're going to do is this would be the area where the light bulb kind of screws in. So we're going to come in here and just draw a couple little uh, ridges in here. And then we're just going to use the move tool. And actually probably the best way to do this is to go ahead and divide this into a few different segments like you can divide this into 10 segments so just click on this line right click and uh, select that divide option and then divide it into 10 and then all you're going to do is you're just going to draw several half circles down here so draw one half circle and then use the move tool to go ahead and copy that down so that you've got 10 little ridges right here. And then you can come in here and you can erase out these lines. And so when you do that, what you're doing is again, you're just drawing this uh, shape that we're gonna extrude in a circle. And you can go ahead and come in here and you can erase out the rest of your uh, canvas. So the next thing we're gonna do, um, something that gets a little bit tricky with the light bulb shape is we're gonna go ahead and remember when we do this, there, there's gonna be different colors in here right so in a light bulb you've got kind of a silver piece right here you've got a black piece down here and then you've got a clear glass piece up above right here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and split those up um, so we're going to come in here we're going to draw a line across here so we're going to go ahead and split these into three different sections. And the reason for that is because we're going to want to come in here and color these up later. So um, if you don't split those up and you go ahead and uh, rotate this, it's really hard to come in here and split those sections up later. But if you do it now, and in fact, you can even come in here and you can color these with the uh, materials that you want. So it may be better to just go ahead and come in here and color them now just like this so you've got your basic color in here you've got your shapes all ready to go so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our path so all you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a circle down here um, right at the center of this shape you can do that by tapping the C key and then drawing a circle and then you're gonna you're gonna select the perimeter of that circle just like this and you're gonna activate the follow me tool so the follow me tool is gonna extrude that along that path so select the path activate follow me and then click on this face and you can see what that does is that extrudes this along the circle just like that so now you can come in here and just keep doing that you can do that for this face right here and then finally you can come in here and do the same thing for your light bulb shape so now you've got your light bulb shape and if you don't like having these lines in here you can use you can come in here and you can select them like this and you can use the uh you can use the erase tool in hide mode in order to hide those lines so and the way that you're going to do that is just come in here and hold the uh hold the shift key 
and drag your mouse across those lines and all SketchUp will do is it'll come in here and it'll hide those lines. So you're not erasing them, you're just hiding them so that your face looks smoother. Just like this. So come in here. Hide all of these lines so this is a nice uninterrupted face. Just like that and then if for some reason you don't really like the way this turned out like for example I would have liked this to be a little shorter you can come in here with the scale tool and you can just kind of adjust it a little bit so you know if you wanted it a little flatter on the top or whatever you can come in here you can drag your mouse across these things and you can adjust the way that looks a little bit so anyway uh, this is just a quick easy way to model a light bulb shape in SketchUp um, obviously you know, it's more it's more of a principle video. It's something where you can go and you can use this to extrude a lot of different things in a circle, just like what we did right here. So that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this modeling method? Is there a different way that you'd rather do this? Uh, I always love having a SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, remember, if you like this video, remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. That link's right down below. Um, you know, that helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. Um, even if it's only a dollar a month, every little bit helps. In any case, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.